Hello everyone and welcome back to the Car Ghost channel and welcome to the Car Ghost Garage. Today we're going to be tackling a topic that I was trying to get into and that's whether you can make money by uh, going to the junkyard, stripping out parts and selling them online. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to tell you from my experience about a month ago, I went to a junkyard and I saw that beautiful white CL from the year of 2002 which means is the preface left for the interior and nothing fits my car but nonetheless I stripped a few parts and I put them on eBay that actually costed me uh, $160 for well quite a bunch of stuff and in a second I'm gonna turn the camera down here on my CL makeshift table and run you through what I got but um, Spoiler, I haven't sold anything yet and it's a month later. Uh, now I haven't uh, listed all of them and also they're not on, only CL parts but there are some other stuff like this beautiful uh, sport shift knob and I don't believe I listed that as well. I'm pretty sure that's gonna sell fast. <clears throat> so uh, can you make money on selling junk parts online? Um, no and yes. Okay, so let me run you through this and let me tell you what I actually sold that is not part of this. And if you want to check my store on eBay, it's called Ivan's Mini Store. And yeah, head on eBay. Maybe I can leave a link down below if I can. If not, it's not going to be there. So let's see what I have here. So here we are. We have this head unit right here. And that came together with this control switch right here that goes on top of the CL and this little um, let's call it uh, AC control unit and those came on this little thing and I paid about 50 bucks for them so uh, I have it listed for um, the head unit I believe is $99 online this I think is I listed for uh, $49.99 for the uh, AC unit and this uh, switch button kind of assembly I listed for $29.99 and uh, just I put a, a few dollars of shipping on each of them now I also get this amplifier it costed me 31 bucks and I believe they go for about uh, 150 on uh, on eBay but I uh, listed it for 119 plus like a uh, like a free shipping so that's actually a pretty good deal and those go um, bad sometimes in the CLs. Also I took two of the sensors and I put them uh, online for um, $99 for this body right here and um, $25 for this little one. Uh, I already got an offer for $55 on this one but I counter offered $75 and I'm still waiting for the response. Uh, and this shift knob that is about $30-$40 on eBay, uh, it's the sport shift knob, fix, fits the W210 and uh, uh, 202 and I believe a few other models. Um, pretty neat, uh, it's in very good condition. Also this dome light assembly, let me see how much I listed that on eBay for. $35, $34.99 and $5.99 shipping. Um, this actually fits my CL and I tested it and it works but uh, the color right here is a tan because it comes from a white car with a tan interior uh, it does not look as good as my uh, my own one and that's why I did not install it so two other parts I got three actually uh, is this W124 um, headlight with the wiper blade and I did not post this one because I have somebody that was interested in it. Uh, but if you guys want it, uh, we can figure it out. DM me on Instagram at CarGhostNY. Also this little piece that I have posted for $79.99. I was looking for mine because mine is my clips are broken. But it's not the right color and I do not want to paint the piece is going to cost me more money but all the screws actually work I tested them and um, also the trunk liner for the CL uh, that this is the liner for the trunk lid and uh, I took it because I wanted to sell it but I haven't sold it yet so I haven't actually even listed it 
So if you guys are interested, you can shoot me a, a, a message on Instagram and we can figure it out. So, oddly enough, I haven't sold any of this stuff even though I got an offer on one of them. Uh, and I only spent $160. But if I sell them for the asking price, I'll probably be like five times my money. And that is great, but it's already a month and I haven't sold anything. So oddly, what I actually sold was I had a, a bunch of parts in my CL when I got it. And I had a grill for a W211 that you can put on the E500 or a, a, a E55. I sold that for a hundred bucks. And then I sold an Audi TT third generation uh, lower mesh grill. Uh, there was plastic and I sold it for 45 bucks plus the shipping and that brought me to about 150 bucks even though it's 145 I made a little bit on the shipping so I actually made 150 dollars off of the free parts so these all these parts they're actually free all right a super real quick update since uh, I was while I was editing the video the sen one of the sensors actually sold and uh, uh, I am now on Sunset Boulevard for one and a half up, miles. Uh, so now with the free parts that I sold uh, from the back of the CL and this sensor, I'm already in the green. Good thing. Continue with the video. So what I'm looking forward to is sell some of them so I can recoup some of my money. Uh, not only recoup some of my money, but actually make some and invest them into the car builds, like uh, I still need to paint that E-Class, you know that, but also um, we need to do a few things on the CL and I am excited to um, go ahead and do that. But one more thing that the E-Class needs um, to complete it besides paint and exhaust tips, well, I got it also from the junkyard. I got one more thing that I haven't shared, actually four more things. And they may have been spoiled a bit earlier in this video, but we will reveal them officially in another video. So if you like today's video, you may hit the thumbs up. Oh, I'm covering it a little bit right here. Um, but uh, hit the thumbs up and subscribe for a lot more videos to come. Also the reveal of these little thingies right there that, uh, well, you already know what they are, but We'll see them in the future videos. Bye!